today we're talking CAD software and specifically what I believe is the best free CAD package that you can use. Now I'm not being paid for this video at all, it's not being supported, it's not advertisement for any of these companies. The main reason I'm making it is that if more people realized how accessible and relatively easy to use CAD software is, more people might actually use it to design their models and then at my consulting company, JKF Aero, I might actually be getting CAD models from people instead of sketches and that will be much easier to work with. So it's really a win-win situation for me and you, the viewer. Now to cut to the chase, the software that I recommend is called Onshape. Now it's a really great CAD package. If you've heard of things such as SolidWorks, which is a very common CAD package, Onshape is really similar to that. But the difference is, is that Onshape is free and free for commercial uses up to 10 models. Now that means that anyone can pretty much use it and it's a really powerful interface. On top of that, it runs in your browser. So you can open up on any computer or your mobile phone or tablet, which is really, really handy. And you don't have to install it anywhere to see what's going on. So Onshape is considered a parametric CAD software. What does that mean? It means that you can go back and edit any of the parameters you use to design your part. So you may dimension this circle here, and then you can go back and change its diameter at a later point, and it allows it to update. This allows easy construction of parts, and it's easy to make changes down the line. Right now I'm constructing this rear wing that's going to be a Subaru WRX rear wing, the rally spec one. And we can see that I put this wing profile in and I extrude it. I don't quite like how it looks. So I go back and change the profile again and now it's updated to the new wing profile. Now this means that if I make a little error, it's not a B. And if I want to do any design modifications in the future, it's really, really easy to do. Now this entire rear wing assembly that I'm doing here, it's obviously quite crude because I was just doing it for a demo purpose but it only took me about 10 minutes to make, which is really, really quick when you think about it. So basically you can build stuff by either subtracting from an existing body or adding your own body. So I can draw these curves here and from the curves, I'll extrude out different profiles. And then with those profiles, I can then perform a pattern to make a whole bunch of them and then cut out using a triangle, the leading edge to give the triangular profile on the front. Now you can see it's just like sculpting a model. You just add and cut where needed. And then through that process, you'll eventually get the model that you're looking for. And this means that it's quite a powerful tool because while this is only a simple geometry, I can apply these curves to a much more complicated geometry, such as designing an entire car or doing complicated aero surfaces. So just here, I'm gonna show you a de quick demo of me doing an entire basic car from scratch. This whole car took about 20 minutes for me to make. Uh, the way I constructed it was just using a whole bunch of sketches on some different planes. So you can see me making those planes there. So I'm making a whole bunch of planes and then I copy my sketch to each one of these individual planes. Now once it's on the individual plane, I can then just manipulate the dimensions of each sketch. So this allows full dimensioning. You can dimension every single point of the sketch so you have consistency between them. I'm not doing that, but I really should be, but I just wanted to quickly get this out for you guys. So then I make the profile and we can see the back of the car taking shape here. And then I go through and bring down the bonnet at the front of the car. And then from that, I can loft another profile and then check and see if I'm happy with that. So we can see very clearly there how I start to make my car shell. A bit further down the line, I go and I cut out a few wheel arches and I can always change any of these dimensions at any time. So at any point I can change the height of any of these sketches if I notice that there's a curve not lining up or anything like that. So it gives me full freedom over what I want to do. And while the final car that I made isn't exactly a work of art, it's pretty good given that I only invested 20 minutes into it. It's easy to see how you could model your own car. Now if you have a look at these are some of the other intricate aerodynamic surfaces that you can model. This is my, my baseline model that I used to test some stuff on. And it's, it's really quite easy to get these very intricate and complicated surfaces. And this is the sort of thing, people seem to think that CAD is hard to do, but it's really not that hard once you just play around with it and see what's happening. Another beauty of the software is that it also supports 3D mice, which is something that I like because I have one, but not everyone's gonna have it, but it's a nice little bonus. So that's what I think is the best CAD software available. If you have any alternatives that you like to use, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to go to www.jkfaero.com and check out some of the consulting services we have available there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.